The movie begins with a battalion of soldiers on a mountain caught up in war. Then, their commander throws a grenade at their enemies, followed by the attack of the rest of the soldiers. A few years ago, a young Vikram played with his brother Vishal and other children when he accidentally hit the teenage boys in front of a store. Vishal then scolds him about it, but he tells him to hold that bat, and he'll get the ball from the boys. Vikram then approaches them and asks for the ball, but Mahinder, one of the boys, asks him to go on fours and beg for it. However, he says the ball belongs to him and won't go without it. So Mahinder tells him to get the ball which leads to a fight, revealing Vikram's fearless nature. Later in the present day, Vishal delivers a talk about his brother Vikram's story. He narrates that Vikram has always been like that. He's never afraid to stand up for himself, not even in front of their father. Vishal continues to say about the television show called Param Veer Chakra. He recalls that when they were young, they didn't have a television at home, they watched in at their neighbor's house, and Vikram always told him how he wanted to be a soldier. Vishal continues to narrate that all the kids come wearing their school uniforms except for Vikram during Independence Day or Republic Day. In addition, Vikram always wore the same army uniform, which sometimes became embarrassing. Vishal says that, during one's early 20s, one has always dreamed of tons of money, a luxurious life, prominent properties, and a fat bank balance. But Vikram didn't care about those things because he grew up nursing one passion, becoming a soldier and protecting his country. After dreaming for 21 years and a year and a half of training at the IMA, Vikram proudly wore the two stars on his shoulders. He then started his journey in Sapare as a lieutenant in the 13 Jammu and Kashmir rifles. At the Jack Reef headquarters, Captain Rajiv Kapoor tours him. He introduces him to Major Mukherjee, his commanding officer, Subidar Raghunath Singh, Lieutenant Sanjeev Jimmy Jamwal, and Major AJ Singh Jasrosha. Kapoor then instructs him that the army's main task is to keep a watch on surrendered terrorists and neutralize active militants. He adds that they have informers everywhere who give them tips regularly, so they have to act fast once receiving the information. Later, while in a public place in Sapare, Vikram is casual and comfortable with the locals, leading to Jamwal scolding him for his actions. Raghu Saab then tells Jimmy he's good at mixing with the people. However, Jimmy tells him to enlighten Vikram because poison combines with Kawa. On the other hand, Vikram says that one must keep ties with the locals to discharge their duties. Yet, Jimmy says that he's aware of that, but he must remember not to be too close that he gets strangled one day. In addition, Jimmy says that it isn't a civil posting, so he needs to maintain a distance from the locals and his seniors. After that, Jimmy orders Bansi to go to the Gulabad check post because Mukherjee received a tip about weapons. Later, they put up a checkpoint following Mukherjee's intel. In there, Vikram tells his comrade that Mukherjee got the wrong intel because they have been searching for three hours and haven't found anything yet. Despite that, his comrade tells him that Mukherjee's intel is never wrong. Later, while searching one car for weapons, a suspicious truck arrives. They're about to stir around when Vikram notices them and walks toward them. But before he reaches them, the terrorists start firing at the soldiers. Vikram then fires back, and the other soldiers protect the civilians. Jimmy then orders him to cease fire because the place is too crowded, which may cause someone to get hit. However, Vikram still shoots at the terrorists, causing Jimmy to back him up. In the ensuing gunfight, Jimmy saves one civilian, and when he turns his back, the terrorist aims to shoot him. Fortunately, Vikram holds him and kills the terrorist. Later, he hits the last terrorist on his leg and captures him. After that, Jimmy scolds him again for not following his orders. Despite Vikram arguing that someone must take the risk, Jimmy says his heroic act could have led to civilian casualties. Back in their camp, Bansi says that he has never seen anything like what Vikram did. He then asks him if he wasn't scared at all, to which Vikram says that he wasn't thinking, that it came like second nature. Jimmy then comes and offers him a cigarette. He tells Vikram that breaking the command is wrong, but he's thankful to him since he's still alive. Then, Jimmy gives him the liberty of not calling him sir but Jimmy. When he returns to his barracks, he sees a letter and a gift from his girlfriend, Dimple, asking him when they can see each other again. In college, he and Dimple were dating like normal teenagers. However, when they want to get married, Dimple's father refuses to accept him because they belong to different castes. Vikram always wanted to join the Indian Navy or the Indian Army. Still, he got into the Merchant Navy, which made Dimple happy yet confused about his career. Later, Vikram realizes that he's not meant for the Merchant Navy but for the Army. So he cracked combined defense services after completing his master's degree and joined the Indian Army, and landed in his position now. Presently, Mukherjee tells the soldiers that they caught the wrong guy, one of Hyder's men, Adala. According to him, Adala helped Hyder carry out the massacre in Champanari village, 
and they were together during the Pranko Tay and Wandhama attacks. He then commends the soldiers and tells Jimmy he's proud of him. But Jimmy says that the full credits must go to Vikram. Then, Mukherjee instructs them to go to Adela and get everything out of him to confess. The following day, in retaliation, Hyder kills four civilians. He instructs his men to send them to their homes so those who choose to side with the Indian army will fear him. When he discovers that the 13 Jack Reef were the ones who captured Adela, he orders them to kill 13 of the soldiers as payback so that people won't think that the army rules the place. Later, Major YK Yoshi comes to the Jack Reef headquarters to inform Mukherjee that their ma'am is among the four bodies Hyder hanged. Vikram then comes in, and Mukherjee introduces them to each other. After that, Yoshi asks Vikram to go with him outside, and he commends him for his bravery. Later that night, Bansi and Vikram are on their rounds where Bansi is talking about her six-month-old daughter. Not long after, they come across Gafur, one of his local friends, who tells him that Alon, his son, is in great danger. Vikram then follows Gafur inside a house and meets Alon. Vikram tells Gafur to talk to his senior officers about it, but Gafur says he doesn't trust anyone but him. Alon then tells Vikram that Hyder wants to send him across the border for training, and he wants to get out. A few days later, the soldiers follow the intel of Alon about a weapons cache. After successfully retrieving the weapons, they head back to their headquarters. To their surprise, Hyder's men are waiting in the desert to ambush them. Later that night, they prepare the burial of the dead soldiers, including Bansi. Saddened by his death, Vikram tells Jimmy that from that day on, except for the enemies, no casualties will happen unless it's him. The next day, he goes to meet Aslan, but Gafur tells him to leave them because he fears Aslan's death. Despite Gafur telling him to leave, he still tries to convince Aslan. In the end, Aslan tells Gafur that he needs to do it, for he'd rather die helping the army than helping terrorists. After getting the information, together with Mukherjee and Jimmy, they meet with Yoshi and obtain authorization for the operation. Yoshi then reminds him of the consequences once his intel is wrong. Even though he authorized him to go with the mission, he tells him that he'll lead the unit for its his intel and wants him and his pick team to go there before daybreak. That night, a team led by Vikram raids Hyder's house. Upon checking the area, they spot armed terrorists but not Hyder. Vikram then calls their base to report that the house is covered and their target is inside, and he asks permission to move in. However, Yoshi commands them not to go unless they see Hyder inside because he doesn't want any civilian casualties. Despite the commands to ID the target before attacking, Vikram decides to attack. After shooting Hyder's men and saving civilians, he ends up in a room of civilians. When he's about to leave, a man attacks him, who later reveals himself to be Hyder. After fighting hand to hand, Vikram knocks Hyder to the floor and shoots him. After the successful mission, Vikram prepares to go on leave. Before leaving, Mukherjee tells him that by the time Vikram returns, he'll be on his next posting, so he asks him to return soon because he's needed there. On the other hand, Hyder's death will lead to a big war. While Vikram was on his way home, the enemies had set out to the mountains, ready to infiltrate the country. Meanwhile, Vikram returns home and spends his vacation with Dimple, where they get married. In May 1999, Vikram saw on the news that at Rawalpindi, Pakistan, the Pakistani army chief began an offensive move to capture Kashmir and sent troops to capture Kargil. That night, Vikram and his friend, Sonny, are eating when he tells him that he'll return to base the next day. He promises to return after raising the Indian flag in victory, or he'll return wrapped in it. The next day, he meets with Dimple, who tells him that she feels he has been getting away from her since he joined the army. But Vikram immediately opposes that. In June 1999, Vikram was back in the headquarters. They're watching the news about the Pakistani soldiers handing Lt. Saurabh Kalia and five other Indian soldiers to the Indian army. Vikram then goes out, saddened by the news, and tells Jimmy that Kalia was his junior in school. He then tells him what they're doing there after what the Pakistani did to their comrades. Later, their unit moved to the Gumri army base, as a reserve force, along with other regiments, to acclimatize and wait for further orders. Moments later, the base comes under artillery fire, resulting in multiple casualties. After the bombing stops, Rajiv sees Jazrosha sitting behind an army truck. Jazrosha says he tried hard to save one of the soldiers but was unsuccessful. Rajiv then tells him not to mind it and stand up to help the other injured. However, he tells him that he can't stand up. When Rajiv tries to help him, he discovers that he's injured. Rajiv immediately calls Vikram to call for Dr. Rajesh. When Dr. Rajesh arrives, he sees his spine injured by shrapnel and calls for an ambulance. However, when they're transferring Jazrosha, he collapses and eventually dies. They then go back to their tent and grieve Jazrosha's death. 
Vikram says that war doesn't even let you say goodbye to your loved ones, and one of the soldiers says they won't even know if they will get home. But Vikram tells them not to think of home at the moment, for war isn't over yet. Three weeks into the war, Yoshi arrives and informs them that 13 Jack Reef is no longer a reserve force. They will go to war, relieving the second Rajputana rifles, and tasked with recapturing point five one four zero at 17,000 feet. Yoshi starts assigning them code names that they will use for radio communications. He says his code name is Chanakya and sets Rajiv as Maharana Pratap, Adao as Chirak, Jimmy as Sangram, and Vikram as Shursha. Then, he starts to explain their mission, that until they kill the Pakistanis in point five one four zero, the killings of their men won't end. In addition, Yoshi says that the shelling that killed Jazrosha came from that location. On June 20th, the troops are in their forward base. Yoshi then instructs them on their plan and tells them that this will be the most challenging mountain warfare ever because oxygen levels there are low. He claims that they will be short of breath as they climb higher. Then, he says they will execute the plan at the last light and strike assault at the first light. Yoshi then divides the group into two, led by Jimmy and Vikram. When he asks what their victory signal will be, Vikram says, Ye Adil Mange More, and explains that he chose that because he won't stop with .5140, but he wants to get the Pakistanis out. Later that night, they start to execute their plans. Then, Jimmy radios Vikram, and the Pakistani soldiers hear it. After that, they continue climbing the hill when they hear the Pakistani on the radio. Vikram then talks to the Pakistani, causing the Pakistani soldiers to fire to keep sight. In the morning, the soldiers attack the Pakistanis. The soldier manages to recapture .5140 without casualties, garnering praise from the army and the public. During the war, Vikram gets promoted to the rank of captain. Following their stunning success, the army command assigned 13 Jack Reef the mission of seizing .4875, which overlooks National Highway 1 and would effectively end the war. The next day, they launched an assault on .4875. Unfortunately, they suffered high casualties due to the rugged terrain and numerous German fortifications. They eventually destroy the four bunkers. They carry heavy fire, unaware of a fifth camouflaged bunker. Vikram tasks rifleman Yash Paul with using a Pakistani RPG-7 at the bunker. However, he's wounded by a sniper before he can fire. Vikram dashes across open land to save him but are hit by a sniper and AK-47 fire many times. As he passes out, he sees Singh take leadership and charge at the final bunker. He dies as he watches the Indian Army raise the national flag. For his actions on point four eight seven five, they grant him the Param Vir Chakra. The movie ends with Vikram's funeral in Palampur, Kanga, with Dimple distraught by his death. Later in the credits, it shows the real life Vikram. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this to help the channel out. Have a nice day.